Hello, uh, my name is Justin Wilson. I'm one of the pharmacists and diabetes educators here at Value Med Pharmacy. Um, what I want to talk to you for a few minutes about is, is really one of the most apprehensive issues about having diabetes or for patients with diabetes, and that's actually checking your blood sugar. We have a lot of patients that come into our pharmacy and that's one of their biggest barriers is they, they think it's going to hurt, they're a little scared of needles, they don't really know what to expect. What I want to do today is actually show you the proper technique for checking your blood sugar. Our goal is that you can check your sugars as pain-free as possible and as accurately as possible. The first thing you want to do is always wash your hands with warm soapy water. This is an important step. A lot of folks will use alcohol swabs to clean off their, their fingertips. This can actually cause some false readings. Okay, the first thing I do after I wash my hands with warm soapy water is I get out all the materials I'm going to need to do a proper finger stick. The first would be your lancing device. You've got a lancet or, or your needle. You have your blood glucose meter and the test strips that go with the meter. Very important to make sure that um, the brand of test strips matches the brand of your meter, oh, otherwise they're not going to work together. And last but not least, it's a pretty good idea to either have a cotton ball or a piece of tissue just kind of prepared so that you can help uh, clean up any blood from the stick. After you get everything laid out, first step is loading your lancing device. Most lancing devices have some sort of cap that you can just pull off very easily. We then put the lancet or needle right in the top here. With this particular one, I just push until I can't push anymore and you hear a slight click. If for some reason I mess up and hit the button, it's very easy with this device just to cock it back there and, and that way it's loaded and ready to go. We then need to expose the needle and it can be done very easily. We just twist off this safety portion and pull straight off and the needle is exposed. Very small, very sharp, virtually pain free. After we expose the needle, we can then put the cap right back on top there, and you're basically ready to go. The last thing I would recommend is making sure we set the depth. Typically, I recommend going with the most shallow setting. You know, most folks can get an adequate uh, blood sample size at even the most shallow setting. But if you do have calluses or, or dry skin, rough skin, you may have to uh, set the setting a little bit deeper to get an adequate blood sample size. After we load everything up there, we basically just need to take out a test strip so that we can get this blood, um, blood into the meter. Okay? Every, like I said, every meter has an individual specific test strip that goes with it. Just check with either your doctor or your pharmacist to make sure that you're getting the, the right strips and right meters for you. With this particular one, I'm going to just slide it into the end. It turns the meter on for me, and then it will tell me that it's ready for a drop of blood. This time, it's, it's basically ready to do a stick. One of the biggest issues um, whenever I start teaching people how to do um, blood sugar testing is they tell me they, they really don't want to do it because the, the times they've done it in the past, it's been very painful. And the first thing I ask them is, where are they sticking themselves? Most patients, when they say this, are sticking themselves right here on the tips of their fingers. We never want to really stick right in this area because that's where you have the most nerve, end nerve endings. That's the most sensitive spot, spot on your finger. What we typically recommend is rotating your hand over like this and sticking up here on the sides. I also recommend every time you do a stick, you pick a different site. That lets your fingers uh, heal up adequately in between sticks and you have less pain uh, over time. After we get everything loaded, we're basically ready to do the stick. I do recommend that patients put their finger on a hard surface like a table, file cabinet, whatever you have handy. The reason why we want a hard surface underneath our fingers is it gives us a little stability and allows us to apply adequate pressure to the sides of the fingers so that we get a good blood sample stick. Once we put adequate pressure, all there is left to do is hit the button. It's as easy as that. We have a small drop of blood. That's really all it takes for this meter. Now I'm going to bring the meter with the strip right over to it and we'll suck the blood up into the meter and in five seconds or less we'll have our reading. That's all there is to doing a good virtually pain-free stick. That's the proper technique. After we're done we use the cotton to uh, apply pressure to our fingers so we stop bleeding. The test strip can be removed right in the trash and then we've got to dispose of our needle. Typically, I keep the safety cap around. It allows me just to push the needle right back into it, remove it from the lancing device, and then it goes right into a sharps container. Sharps container are the safest way to dispose of our needles, but if you don't have one or you don't have access to one, you can use an old laundry detergent bottle that's uh, got the thick plastic 
uh, just make sure you mark through it and make sure that um, no one tries to use it to do actual laundry and they know that there's needles in there. And that's all there is to, to doing a proper finger stick for patients with diabetes. I'm Justin Wilson, pharmacist and diabetes educator here at Value Med Pharmacy. Come see us or give us a call with any further questions or if you'd like to know any more information about our diabetes education and management program. 405-741-1200. Thank you.